Hey, welcome to Rams Camp Live. I'm team reporter Serena Morales alongside the voice of the Rams, J.B. Long, and of course, QB1, Jared Goff, joining us at Rams Camp Live on the desk today. Jared, you, you came in a golf cart? Is that really like a personal thing? Yeah, they, uh, they take me around and uh, we'll have to practice, so keep me off my feet. Yeah, you can, you can relax this camp. Got the whole crowd with you. Uh, the biggest news coming out of Rams uh, these days, Sean McVay and GM Les Snead, both with contract extensions through 2023. What does that mean to have those guys here? Amazing, amazing. Uh, you know, it was such great news for me to hear and, and the whole team just, first of all, with Les, me personally, he took a chance on me a few years ago and, and for him to be rewarded in the way he was is awesome. And then Sean coming on and obviously doing everything he's done has deserved everything and more and um, couldn't be happier to have him. Most important thing on my mind, something I've been meaning to ask you all off season, is it true that you got your first career hole in one I this did. summer? I did. <laughs> Tell us about it. Let's go. Uh, I was at Lakeside Golf Club in, uh, in LA and um, it was hole 15. It hit an eight iron and it took one bounce, went right in. Amazing. I mean, I'm old enough to remember when you were not a very good golfer. Yeah, you well, struggle that's, it's Tom, currently. Now you're no, picking up pull on Andrew still Whitworth, struggling. who will tell you how great of a golfer ask you him, are. Ask him if he has any hole in ones. <laughs> that feels like a nerve. Yeah, ask, ask him yeah. if he's got any hole in ones. I will. Let's see, I guess he wasn't there for that. He wasn't there. God, okay. Um, back to the field you just came off of. Uh, you know, yesterday, uh, Robert Woods spoke about the offense being sort of a four-headed monster, especially having those three and then Josh Reynolds, who had an incredible season last year. How would you describe those four? I saw even a 12 personnel out there at one point today. Yeah, I mean, we got we got a lot of guys who can who can contribute, and it's, it's special. I think today felt like truly the first time we've literally picked up where we left off. You know, I think the first year, obviously, with this system was the first year. Last year, we added Brandon, and then coming into this year, it, it's, it's a... Uh, um, it's been good. It's been good keeping that chemistry and keeping those guys together and uh, those guys and then Tyler and Gerald and Todd and Malcolm yeah. in the same group over and over again. It's really good. Can you share the story that you told NFL Network in the top 100 about treating Robert as an uh, offensive lineman and how you and Todd split the gift for him, including yeah, him so as we a were blocker? Yeah, we were getting the gifts last year for the lineman and decided to split it. And uh, we don't have a fullback in our offense, yeah. but Robert was doing so much of the what we call an insert block, where he inserts and either blocks a linebacker or a safety. It, Todd's like, I got to get my fullback one. I'm like, who? He's like, he's like Rob. And I'm like, all right, like, what do you want? We'll, we'll do it. So we got six of them, uh, the five starters and Robert. Uh, the rompers last year, right? You had the rompers yeah. for the O-line. What are we doing for the O-line this year? You know, Serena, I, 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 need, to, I need to come up with something. Here's a reminder I, uh, for you. That is a reminder. <laughs> I haven't thought about it. I, I should get them something and, and, and will. Other, other other than a nice dinner, I'll do something else. Yeah, just a real cool thing. That reminds me, I have a clothing-related item for Jared. If if I were to invest in, in a Jared Goff apparel line, am I more of a JG16 person or am I <laughs> Banana Republic? Like, cool. which which way would you point? Contractually, you're Banana Republic. <laughs> okay. But yeah, no, the the the, the stuff uh, JG16 stuff we made is really cool and uh, comes out Monday. It'll be cool. It'll be fun to see. Hopefully, some of the fans wearing it. Your biggest fan is probably Andrew Whitworth, and uh, he does well, and his children, all of Michael especially. But, you know, Whitworth talks about being in his gajillion season playing in the NFL, sort of a journey. Every season is a new journey. How do you describe year four for you, my friend? I feel good. Um, you know, I, I feel like the same as I did last year. I don't know. I mean, a little bit more mature, a little bit more <laughs> uh, understanding of things, how things work, and uh, under control. and. But yeah, just continue to try to keep building and get better. And I know I've got so much work to do and so much room to grow. So I try to do that as best I can. Full disclosure, when Todd Gurley gets here, I have to ask him about the BMW performance Come on track. over, Todd. Come on. Come on over. over. Let's bring him on. Let's go. Do you want to um, give your version of your, uh, your driving okay. skills here before Todd sure. tells us the Sure, yeah, show. we went to the BMW uh, Performance Center and uh, drove some of their cars around and um, it was fun. I, I think I was the best guy out there, but Todd or Brandon may say otherwise. Yeah. I won the last one, so I won. <laughs> Well, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Drinks well, on the house. You just got off the field. Chase for the show. Yeah, Thanks, thank you, man. Chase. Thank you, Todd, what's going on? How are you? Day one of camp. Why are y'all yelling? <laughs> So they can hear us out there. Oh, uh, how y'all doing? <laughs> yeah.
he looks great. Wait, we started? He asked, they asked yeah, me how you like. look. Oh, all right, good. <laughs> he looks great. He looks like he always does, and uh, that's usually pretty dang good. And um, he's had a successful career up to this point, and expect it to continue to keep going. You made, a, you made a nice connect with Cooks out there. I'm sure it's nice to have all your guys back on the field with you, Todd, huh? Yeah, yeah, it feels good to get back over here with these guys, and um, you know, season starts, year five, year four for him, year six for Cook, so it, it was a good day. Year seven for Woody, got my boy Cooper Cup back out there, so it, was, it felt good to get out there. What do you and call the it a, a four-headed monster, the wideout group, a four-headed monster? What do you, what do you call the, those four guys? Guys that helped me out. <laughs> <laughs> right, totally. I've enjoyed living uh, vicariously through your, your social media this summer. You, you had quite you like that? I knew yeah. people was out there watching. Me too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what, what was the highlight, whether it's your work with the youth camps or Wimbledon? Like, what is your fondest memory from the summer that was? Oh, the kids. Um, you know, having all the camps, going to other people's camps, um, doing, like, little reading rallies mm -hmm. with my boy Michael Mitchell. Everything. Basically with the kids, got my foundation started up, um, made, made Sports Foundation, making a difference every day. So um, starting that, you know, that kind of just helped me like want to do more, you know, philanthropy stuff, um, whether it's community here in L.A. or back home and, you know, other places as well. We were just talking with uh, Jared about his uh, apparel lines before you yeah, walked JG up. Yeah, JG sixteen coming in. <laughs> is he yeah. ready for with like magazine plug. covers like you quite oh, yeah. yet? Or? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have him on the um, the body issue next year. That's the plan. <laughs> you guys don't want to see tips. that. Talk to AD a you little want, bit. You don't want to see that. This yeah. was, this was lost on me, but it was observed that you might be a little bit bigger in stature coming back to camp. Is that true or he not? He did look taller. I definitely am not taller. When people tell me that, it probably means I got a little bit fatter okay. and uh, maybe a little bit of muscle. I'll take a little. Yeah. Nah, he definitely was. Getting after it in the weight room. I'll take a little bit of credit for getting a little bit bigger, but yeah. Is no, Aaron like set that good. standard for you guys? Like yeah, I mean, I see him working out every single day on Instagram. I'm like, man, I gotta get my. I my know, I really room. do that because I'll be at the house. You know, we're already three hours behind, so I'll be at the house <laughs> like, ah, I'm not working out today. And then I just see Aaron and his trainer fussing at him for like five hours. <laughs> And I'm like, let me get up and work out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gets the, up the ante in the, in the weight room. Um, I talked to Jared earlier, but I feel like the unsung heroes of teams are always the O-line. Both of you can greatly appreciate your O-line here. I don't know if you have any ideas for what Jared should get the O-line this year. He got rompers last year. You got any ideas for uh, maybe a little gifts. gift, a little preseason gift? Have to work I don't on got nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Christmas guy. He's a Christmas guy. He is. He is. You are a Christmas guy. Santa, Santa, Santa Gurley. Yeah. Santa Gurley. Santa Gurley. Yeah. Santa Gurley. Uh, and a Halloween guy. <laughs> Todd, being out there on the field uh, with your team today, I'm curious to get your perspective. Like, you have a good feel offense and defense for like the newcomers, whether it's a rookie or a veteran. Like, any new teammate that you're looking forward to seeing perform between the lines? Like, put a lot of pressure on me just then. No, just really making connections. I'm getting to know guys like, you know, um, Weddle and Clay. Mm -hmm. You know, I've obviously been watching those guys for a long time, even before I got in the lead. And, uh, you know, just learning stuff from them, even as I get older, um, learning how to take care of my body, learning how to just approach things. And then, you know, it's always one rookie that's going to stand out. Um, uh, it's it's going to be a fun year, though. I'm, I'm excited. You're to... just not ready to name that one. Nah, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. They're, 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 it's their first it's day. day. Yeah, <laughs> give them by Oakland when they put a couple moves on the Raiders or the Chargers or whatever like that. I'll Fair definitely enough. come back and name a few. Okay. <laughs> All right. I got a couple fan questions. One from Austin Wright. This is for each of you. Would you rather have a beard like Jake McQuaid or swag like Michael Brockers? I already got swag like Brockers, so I'll go with Jake McQuaid. Perfect. I, I don't personally like beards, so I'll take the swag as take well. Take the swag. Take Although the swag. Matt Brockers doesn't have much swag, I'd like swag like somebody else if possible. Would yeah. you give it, you want to give it? Like, I'll take Todd's swag. Like Todd's sure. swag? Yeah. Um, and then Alan Bell, any non-football, non-essential item that you needed to bring to camp this season? What's in the bag? I, I would pack for like... I've got so much stuff. Do you? Yeah. Like JJ brings like literally like one one pair of underwear. They wash one, then he wears. Oh like, no, no! I no, actually, no, no. yeah, I, that's them. No, <laughs> I forgot to wash my underwear, so I did only bring two pair. <laughs> Perfect. The Rolls Royce is an underwear. essential item, though, right? Yeah, I and mean, he did roll up you know, the yeah, y'all know how I roll up, man. <laughs> you know, I'm, you know, shout out to BMW, though. You know, take care of me. For sure. And then we'll end it with uh, last year we did this a fuego moment. So basically, it's hot here at UC Irvine. You both know this, but um, overall, a highlight. I will start. 
Um, actually, speaking of John Johnson, what I saw this huge fan of JJ's. Her nails, she had them painted number 43. She was all swagged out. And JJ, I put it, put it on the Instagram so JJ will see it later. That was my fuego moment of Rams training camp number one. What do you got, JB? Uh, mine was, as you may be aware, you need an online ticket to get into training camp this year. So kudos to the fan base for selling out all 13,000 of those. And then I'll follow up with... Um, now, I wanted to see Cooper Cup on the field today, and not only was he out there, but he wasn't wearing a red jersey, and that was just a great sign for, for Cooper and for this team, I think. Yeah, for sure. Jerry, what's your fuego moment? Hand that ball off to 30 and watching him run. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, I mean... Um, Is that your fuego moment, Todd? Yeah, I guess so. There you go. You look good out there. Yeah, just being out here. Um, yeah, I mean... Just being with the guys, that's that's my moment. Sure. Damn it, I broke the table and oh, ended like that. We have a new entry for Fuego moment. <laughs> Break in the desk on day that's one. That's it. Uh, thank you, Todd. Thank you, Jerry, for joining us on Rams Camp Live. Uh, we had so much going on first day of Rams Camp, and we're going to give you day one of Rams Camp right now with day one highlights. from day one no pads but still great energy from the crowd and great energy from the guys on the field the biggest news though coming out of this Rams organization is actually the contract extensions of GM Les Snead and head coach Sean McVay their extensions through 2023 JB you sat down with them this week any highlights and overall thoughts on sitting down with both of them we'll talk about the easiest decision of the offseason right <laughs> making <laughs> right. sure that those two are with the organization for a very long time including you know into the new era in Inglewood and a big part of uh, what the Rams have accomplished in the past two years and are going to accomplish moving forward. I sincerely believe that their best years are still ahead of them, uh, and I can't help but notice that Sean McVay has never spent a day in second place in the NFC West since he arrived uh, as a first-year head coach. So really well-deserved. I think they play off of each other very well. I think they complement each other very well. And uh, you have the right people in the right seats at the top of this organization. I think the results on the field have followed their lead. For sure. And we're excited to see that interview. And we are going to throw to that interview with J.B. Lesney and Sean McVay right now. Take a look. Really good day for the organization as we open up training camp to be able to announce extensions for the two men to my right who have done a fantastic job. It's a blessing, uh, but it's also a reflection of a, a great collaboration of, of everybody's work together. How has your relationship evolved over the course of the last two years when you barely knew each other when you sat down for dinner that first time? It's, it's interesting. Obviously, with time, your thing, you use the great word evolve, it's going to uh, get better. But it's interesting, our, probably our first dinner, there was an element of chemistry there that I think that Sean and I talk about all the time. I think we see the game really similar. You know, I think about the rapport in terms of how we want to see the types of players on offense, defense, special teams, the type of mental makeup that they have, the physical skill sets specific to each position and how we want to operate schematically. And, you know, I, I mean, I couldn't be more appreciative of him and, and just to, to continue to work and, and try to, you know, even get better this year. One of the things that I've really appreciated about Les since we've gotten here is, you know, you have needs or you have things that you want to try to get done. And there's been a tireless commitment to always making sure that he's providing uh, the coaches with the necessary pieces specific to the players that he acquires for what we feel like is best, whether that be acquiring Fowler in the middle of the season last year, whether that be going and getting Sammy Watkins uh, before we even started our first season together, finding a way for us to trade for some of those corners, being able to get, um, you know, to leave in Peters, going and getting Brandon Cooks. So I think there's been a consistent commitment for a shared vision. And then if we have something that goes differently, no different than us having to adjust our game plan within the framework of it, you know, he's, he's shown a, a great ability to do that as well. And, and that's something that I know our coaches are very appreciative of. Well, we talked with Jared and with Todd about all the fun things they did this summer. Uh, Sean McVay had a couple of good months as well. An appearance at the Kentucky Derby, a trip abroad, an appearance on Jimmy Kimmel, a contract extension. Most importantly, though, 
an engagement with Veronica, and we say congratulations to both of them. For sure. Big day one of Rams training camp here. Sold out crowd. And in case you missed it, we've got some more from our first day at training camp. Well, come here, watch the Rams um, get ready to start the season today. I've never been here before. I just want to. I just want to watch him practice. I've never seen him before. I've never practiced before. I want to see Cup back in action. I'm just here just for a good time and support the Rams all together. See how golf is doing and just I mean, all the players. I'm excited about all the new players, the defense. We were second season ticket holders before they left to St. Louis and um, actually got to come back with my boys. That was the last thing we did together with football. We came back. Thanks for joining us on day one of Rams Camp Live. I'm Serena Morales, joined by the voice of the Rams, J.B. Long. We will see you tomorrow.